Oh, oh yes! No, oh, no, that's big. This is really big. Oh man, my drag's locked. Bro. Oh yeah, look at this man. Good morning. Oh, coffee, coffee, coffee. I need to get some water boiling. Can't start the day. Nice, without coffee. What's going on doggies? Welcome back to another video. We are on a brand spanking new island today and I'm um, I'm bloody excited about it. All right, so we've just woken up on probably one of, I don't know, this is up there with one of my favorite spots I've ever camped so far. It just has, I don't know, it just has a feeling about it. So this is a brand new island. We have never been here before and um, it's got the vibes, man. I'm telling you right now, I've got a feeling about this place. It feels good. A little bit of coffee. Uh, we'll go a little bit more. Jesus Christ, that's gonna get the heart started. All right, let's get this off because this is well and truly done. Oh yeah, that's hot. Get the barista style happening. Oh yeah, look at this. Ah, it's perfect amount of water. This is bloody beautiful, isn't it? What I might do, but I might get these shoes. I'm just gonna slap them down here because yesterday, these shoes got an absolute flogging and they're soaking wet. Here we go, I can finally start my morning. <laughs> All right, we'll let that coffee cool down a little bit. It literally just roasted my finger just then. But um, like I said, we're on a brand new island and this place is, well, just look at this, man. This is beautiful. It's probably, I had a really, really bloody good sleep last night, so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready to get the day done, and um, we had a little bit of rain last night. This tent is not waterproof whatsoever, so I kind of got a little bit wet, but I had a bloody good sleep, and waking up to views like this, I mean, dude, how can you even complain anyway? So I arrived on this island yesterday, and um, I sort of just came here yesterday. I wasn't really doing any filming. I was just like scoping the island out, trying to find places to fish, and I was gonna start filming this morning. But I thought, you know what? I couldn't resist not fishing here yesterday. It was high tide, looking beautiful. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna whack the GoPro on my head and uh, flick a couple of lures. Second cast, big barracuda. Boom, grabs the lure, launches out of the water, takes two big runs on my light gear, and then snaps us off. So I was like, Jesus Christ, this place is insane. So we lost the big barracuda, which seems to be like an ongoing thing. And then after I lost the barracuda, I seen, I don't know, three to five big black GTs swimming just here in this cove. So yesterday it was barracuda, lost big boy, four, three to five big GTs, like I'm talking 20 kilo plus GTs in here. And we lost two big long toms, so, uh, I think it's going to be an exciting day today. I'll roll those clips on now. I'm going to set up all my fishing gear, smash that coffee. So I'll roll the clips on from yesterday and then we'll start just fishing hard this area. I don't know, exploring. Let's just have a hell day. All right. No way. Second cast on a brand new island and we've got a fish on doggies. Are you joking? Oh, this is second cast. What is it? No way, bruh. Second, sec, oh my God. And just like that, it's gone. Big, big barracuda. <laughs> Are you actually joking me? I've been on this island for no more than two or three hours. Second cast, and we just got dusted by a big old barracuda. So I've just brought my light set up, so I'm using the PE2 gear, and I've only got 20 pound leader, so 
That thing absolutely dusted me. It took two runs, one big jump, and a bit through the line. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get back out there. That was sick, bro. I really hope this doesn't keep happening. I am using light gear, but I enjoy using light gear. I love it, it's so much fun. You do lose a lot of fish, but even if I had 80 pound leader just then, I probably would have lost that barracuda because their teeth are literally like razor blades. Like as soon as any of this sort of line touches their teeth, bang, they're gone. So hopefully I don't lose too many lures because I don't have too many. But um, we'll give this one a crack. Let's see if we can get something else. That was an insane start. I actually can't believe that, man. Bro. All right, I'm just... I've just been walking like up and down this big rock face here and I'm running, running, running back to the flat rocks because just somewhere down here I've seen three or four big, big boy GTs. I'm not going to be able to stop them on this gear but I'm just going to cast at them and let's see if we can lose 300 meters of line. It's going to be so much fun. I don't care if I don't land it, I just want to get it in but there was three or four big GT, big GTs circling this area. Oh, this is risky. This is super risky. Mate, these rocks as well. These rocks are so sharp. Oi. Risky business right now, but we're gonna get one of these GTs. Oh, it's gonna smoke me. Come on, big boy. Oh, that sucks. They're, they're out there. I think they just cruise past, but it's way, way, way too dangerous down there right now. Man, these rocks are like pins, dude. And if I fall in here, well, good luck get climbing back up. It is like razor sharp rocks. Then it's lined with like oysters and bloody sharp shells and barnacles and shit, so. Nah, I'm not fishing here right now. It's just gone high tide, so uh, we'll keep pushing on. I've got a lot to explore today. Okay, so this is uh, super sketchy what I'm doing right now. Oh, right now. I'm, uh, I'm walking along this old bamboo. I found an old bamboo sort of walkway that goes through this mangrove system, but uh, I've been walking now for about 20 minutes and the further I go in, it gets like really decayed. The bamboo is like literally breaking under my feet and I'm probably, I don't know, I'm a good eight, eight foot up. This is what the bamboo walkway looks like. But it's a pretty big drop down there. And uh, it's super, super sketchy, man. Like my foot's gone through twice. So uh, this is very interesting. I'm trying to get to the ocean because on that side of the ocean is a sick, sick ledge to fish, but uh, Dude, this is hectic. Holy shit, dude. My foot just went straight through this. Oh, bro. That absolutely sliced me. Oh, I'm getting out of here. This is so sketchy. Oh, that hurt like. Oh, dude. My foot just went straight through that. I suppose these are the uh, joys of exploring. Man, my, my leg, so itchy. It's like little bamboo spikes. It's a little bamboo scratch. Dude, this is psycho. My foot nearly went through another piece then. Did you hear that? Oh my God. This is... This is hectic. All right, I've got the rod set up. Had my coffee, it was bloody beautiful. Locked up the tent, so I've tied a rock to the tent just because, um, man, who knows where we're gonna go today. I'm just gonna hoof it real far, so hopefully it doesn't get too windy. I think the wind's supposed to pick up and it's gonna be coming from this direction, so it's gonna be blowing straight in our face, which isn't ideal, but um, we'll deal with it. Don't worry about that, we'll still get a fish hopefully. So, the number one thing on my mind right now is to get a fish for breakfast because I've got no food, 
Yesterday I didn't really eat a lot. I just had, um, what did I have yesterday? I had about 20 oysters for dinner. It was beautiful, but um, it would be sick if we can get a fish, like a proper fish. So I'm gonna walk along this cliff here, try to find a good spot to fish with this tide, because the current's really pushing. And uh, ah, let's see if we can chuck a fish on the fire for breakfast. That'll be so good. All right, we haven't gone far from the tent. The tent's literally right there. There isn't really a low platform to fish, so I'm just gonna, yeah, just wing it. Let's just, let's just fish and see if we get something. But what I wanna try, when I fish different countries and stuff, I really watch locals, how they fish. I try to learn from them and the way they fish because like they're the most knowledgeable people, knowledgeable people in places like this. And one thing that I've always, I always see people do is they're fishing with like, purely this is only to catch long tom. You won't catch anything else but big long tom. What they do is they get this like cotton. So this is like different parts of cotton which I've found off the rocks. Every time I walk around these rocks, I pick up a little strand of cotton, put it in my pocket, and this is the end result. This is about, I don't know, two weeks of fishing, picking up one little strand of cotton at a time. So this is the cotton they use. And what they do, I've just put a swivel, a, a split ring, and then a little bit of bloody um, cotton, cotton wrap and super glue. So it's made like a skirt looking thing. And I'll show you what they do. They use the current, they use the power of the current, and then they use this unweighted skirt. So I'll show you how they do it, and um, I've never tried it before, but uh, we'll see if we get a long time, because it's, um, it's a pretty interesting way of fishing. All right, so the idea behind it is, there are no hooks in this piece of, well, skirt or fabric, whatever you want to call it, but it's like multiple little pieces of very fine, fabric which gets tangled up in the fish's mouth once it bites it the more it shakes its head the more it gets tangled up so this little skirt well this is how it's supposed to work there is a long tom right there dude no way man i can't even cast this all right this is good so the way that it works is you just drop it down into the current and it's going to go with the current like look at it go man it's flying well it looks amazing too so I'm just gonna let it go. Maybe about, I don't know, 20 meters. 20 meters will be enough. And I'll just let it sit. So someone's already made a rod holder here for it. And um, we just let the current slowly move that little bit of fabric in the water. It looks like a little bait fish. Hopefully the fish comes up, bang, and we're on. So uh, I've never done it before. I've seen them do it and it's pretty productive. So I'm very excited and interested. That's not good. That's not gonna work. All right, change of plans. We need this stick. This is the only stick that I can find. It's gonna come in handy. I'll show you why in a second. Wait a minute. Oh my God, you wouldn't believe it. This stick is better than anything I could ever ask for. All right, we've got a problem with this fishing setup that I'm doing. So we're gonna use this stick to help us out. Whoosh! All right, we need this rock. This is gonna be part of the, uh, the uh, I don't know, what are we making right now? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. This is what I do, man. I just have fun on the rocks and I don't even fish. I just like try to invent different ways or make better ways. But uh, it'll all make sense in a second. Just don't fall over with these rock in my hand. Eesh. All right, that's gonna go here. This stick is gonna go out here like this. Something like that. This rock. Oh. It's gonna sit there like that. So you're probably asking yourself, what are you doing with a stick and a rock and shit running around the rocks? All right, so there's a method behind the madness and I'll show you why. Okay, so before when I had the fishing rod here, I couldn't put the fishing rod anywhere. There's a fishing rod holder here, but it's not deep, right? So I sort of had nowhere to put my fishing rod. So I thought if I get a stick like this, I can run a stick all the way out there. That stick's got a fork on the end of it. So then I can leave my fishing rod here. 
the line comes across, gets pushed out off the rocks, and then my, my, little, um, my little skirt is just slowly dancing out there, kept away from the rocks. And hopefully when we get a big bite, when we get a big hookup, um, we'll be on. That'll start singing. I'll run over there, grab the rod. Hopefully we get a fish on. It's just sitting out there. I can just see it moving beautifully in the current. Look at it. Oh, this is good. This is going to be good. A little bit of an update. So it's about, we've been fishing for probably two hours. It's 9.46 right now. Um, we've had one little bit of interest on the, on the little skirt that we've made. Sort of, I was flicking over there and the rod just went whack, whack. And then it just stopped and I don't know, I sort of brought it in and the skirt was all sort of munched up. So I don't know if it was a fish or it was a long tom, but something had a crack. See if we can make our way down to here. That's why I'm holding a butter knife because I'm going to go and feast on all these oysters, man. Look at them all. Heaps of oysters down there. Look at that, breakfast of champions. It's not the biggest oyster. Oh. And I am getting out of here. That is, dude, that is exactly why you never, ever, ever turn your back to the ocean. That could have ended very badly just then. Whew. All right, I think we'll go get oysters from somewhere else. I've been doing this stuff way too long to know not to go down to that level of the water, especially when you're solo and turn you back to the ocean. So uh, let that be a lesson to everyone. Don't turn you back to the ocean, especially when you're solo, especially when you have swell and an incoming tide because that could have ended very, very badly just then. All right, I had three oysters and uh, nearly got washed into the ocean. So <laughs> we're gonna move fast. <laughs> Out there, that's rain, that's a big, that's all rain coming down all the way across there. That's pissing down with rain out there. So uh, I'm just quickly running around collecting as much firewood as I can. And I'm going to stick it under here so I can stay dry. Because once it rains, everything's going to be wet. All right, it's raining. <laughs> uh, literally, as soon as I said that, it started raining. So we've got all the sticks here. They'll be dry. There's enough sticks there to start a fire and probably just enough to cook a fish. So uh, everything else is going to be completely stuffed out there after this rain. So hopefully that stays dry there. And I do have the gas cooker here. Like I've got the gas cooker, but everything tastes better on a fire. That fishing rod, I don't know if you can see it. Where are you? That fishing rod there, it's still, it's still out there. This one's not. It's got a lure on it, but that fishing rod, it's still out. So I'm just keeping my eye on that. Hopefully we get a boom, boom and I'll run out there and grab it. But in the meantime, I'm gonna make another coffee and we'll uh, wait for this rain to pass. Not a bloody bad view though, is it? Oh, first shot. Oh no, I've got to ration this water out. That's all the water we've got left. Not much. <laughs> Just enough for a mouthful this afternoon. Coffee priority. This coffee's gonna be alright. Beautiful. Look at that, mate. Alright, the uh, times have changed. Things are changing. I'm leaving this spot. So uh, after that rain came, it just become extremely windy. Like right now it is blowing its absolute tits off. So, and there's a couple of dudes that come down, local guys fishing as well. So a couple of boys come down here, they started fishing and there's not a lot of room really because you can only fish from there sort of to here. And there's three guys fishing with two rods each. So it's pretty busy, but that's not the reason I'm leaving. The reason I'm leaving is because of the wind. It's, um, it's just blowing like you wouldn't believe. So. I made a decision, because we're on an island, 
we've got the benefit of walking to the other side of the island and we can have that this wind behind me so uh that's what i'm gonna do it's gonna burn up a lot of time but uh we're here for an adventure so that's what i'm doing all right it's gonna be bloody interesting to see if that tent's still there because i actually left the tent down there so I'll come back this afternoon. I'll probably sleep there again because it's such a magic place to wake up, but I just got to get away from this wind. Like it's just so echo right now. So uh, I think, hey, I'm just gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave the tent down there. I've tied it to a couple of rocks. I've left a little bit of gear inside the tent, but um, man, I don't know how it's gonna go, to be honest. Um, maybe we'll come back and we won't have a tent anymore. I don't know, I just can't be bothered packing it up. All right, I'm gonna start walking. We'll see you guys on the other side of the island. Hopefully we can get a fish, man. Ha! Still walking! Look where I am, dude. I've literally... I don't really know where I am right now, but I'm walking through this, like, waist-deep grass, ready to get bitten by a snake, probably. So I'm kind of just pushing through until we can find a break in this stuff, and we'll try to uh, find where the ocean is and see if we can fish. Maybe. Ah, it's prickly, dude. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Ah. <laughs> this is why I end up with cuts all over me because I do this kind of shit. All right, we made it to the ocean. Oh, wow, look at this, man. Yes, this looks really good. That's a massive cliff. Don't fall. Wow, this is beautiful. Well, we've made it back to the ocean and it's uh, again, super cliffy, big, big cliff. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to fish here. And this is, this is where I start to burn time. Like this is where I really start to lose time when I start doing these adventures. But at the same time, I just love doing this, man. This is on par with catching and eating a fish. Like exploring places like this is pretty much as good as catching a fish, I reckon. Like, look at this, man. It is just like unbelievably beautiful, crystal clear. It's actually a really good spot to fish. The wind's behind me. Wonder if we can get down to that little ledge there. That's what I kind of probably want to do. I can't get down there. That's just like a cliff, a little bit of water, and then this rock. So, dude, I want to fish this. Look at it. It's so sick. But it's just a massive cliff the whole way down. I don't know. What do I do, doggies? What do I do? Oh, let's just have a... I'm just going to have a cast. Let's just have a flick. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't catch anything big. Oh, let's just have a, let's just have a flick. All right, let's do this. This is kind of stupid, really funny. No, no, no. This is kind of funny, but really stupid what I'm about to do. But um, <laughs> let's just try. That's a massive like, I don't, we got a fish, I don't know how we're gonna get it, get it up, but uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, it's too late now. Oh, this is crazy. So I've had about 10 casts but it just doesn't feel safe. Like the wind right now is super strong and it's kind of like, I'm kind of like standing sort of like bent knees like I'm surfing and then this wind is like pushing me and as I cast, I'm like wobbling. Oh man, it's um, it's a little bit sketchy right now. I'd hate to hook something big, but then again, it would be absolutely, probably the funnest thing ever to hook something big up here. A little bit sketchy though. Oh, all right, I'm not gonna um, not gonna fish here anymore. That is so sketchy, man. The wind is like so strong that it's like, as I'm casting, like the movement of me flicking and then the wind, it's like pushing me. And I'm like, literally, I think I thought I was gonna fall in one time and that's it. I'm like, damn, I'm done. So, oh man, walk so far to get here as well. So what are we gonna do now? We'll just keep walking. On the maps, it looks like on the, that direction, it's kind of like 
This is like the side which has the reef, uh, the cliff, and that side looks like kind of flat. So I'm just going to head to the flat side. Hopefully we can fish it on the low tide. Still got a couple of hours before that tide's dead low, but um, that's all we can do right now because this is sketchy as, boy. Dude, this is so sick. Isn't it amazing how you can literally go from nearly falling off a cliff fishing to being in a mangrove system getting destroyed by sandflies and mosquitoes. I am getting eaten alive by mosquitoes right now. More so sandflies, like I'm getting absolutely smoked, but we're not only part of the island. Um, it was a mission to get here and now the good thing is I'm pretty sure that there's no wind here and I'll show you what, we, what we've got to do. Well, this is the plan. I've never been here before. I've got no idea what I'm really doing, but uh, this is what this is what makes me excited. This is what I froth for. Look at this. This is so sick, man. This is, I love this kind of like land like this, mangroves. It's just so good. Anyway, what we're doing, we're going out there. So I found this spot on Google, Google Earth. I have no idea if I can even fish or walk out there, but if you can see, way in the distance out there it goes really dark blue that's what i want to do i want to walk along this shallow reef get out to that dark dark deep blue water and um maybe we'll get a fish who knows but it uh it's gonna be sick i don't even know if i can walk there right now but we're about to find out so i've only got my dry bag a little box of lures and this fishing reel the pe2 set up with the major craft rod i've just stashed all my other stuff in the mangroves in a bush over there so um it should be safe all right, let's start walking out to this um, big drop-off and see if we can do it. This is going to be sick. Ah, why do I do this? So I'm sort of in like waist-deep water and I'm kind of not even nowhere near in casting distance to where I need to be. I need to be way further out. So um, this is interesting. It's nothing like I thought it would have looked like. On the maps, it drops off to deep water, but... I can't walk out there, I'm going to be up to my neck in water. So we'll just fish these shallows, hopefully we don't get busted off. I'm only chasing small fish, so I'm only casting a light lure on the light gear. Here goes nothing, first cast. Oh man, this is ner I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect out here. It's a fish! We got oh no 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 This is unbelievable man These fish are just too big That was big dude That was really really big <laughs> Sometimes I just seriously just have to sit down and just laugh exactly like I'm doing right now Why? I don't want big fish like I just want something for dinner like a small fish for dinner that's why i'm using lures like this big just want a small fish <laughs> whatever that was 10 kilo plus fish i don't know how big that was but it was big i've got a fully locked drag on a 3000 reel could not stop that fish it just kept going and going and going and going and going went deep snapped me off so um i am sorry that i'm losing fish guys um i'm not doing it on purpose all i want is a small fish but Obviously, all we're getting is big fish. Yesterday, I lost a big barracuda. Today, I just lost something ginormous. Um, I don't know. All we can do is keep fishing. The only problem is, <coughs> excuse me. The only problem is that my lure stock box is um, getting pretty low. I only brought like two or three little stick baits and then a couple of little swim bait lures. So uh, uh, anyway, let's try again. I just want something small. How hard is it? Dude, I think I just found what we're gonna have for dinner. Look at this eel. Oh, it's, oh, there it is. I will eat you. It's in this fishing net somewhere. Where are you? I'll actually eat you. There you are, there. Go, go, go. Oh, he's gone into a hole. I don't know if you can see his tail. Oh, he's gone deep now. Little eel. Yeah, yeah, that's a fish. Oh no, this is big. This is real big. Ah, stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, you have got to be joking. You have got to be kidding me. Dude, 
This is <laughs> all I can do is laugh, man. This is out of control. That was big, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I don't really have any lures left. Oh man. <laughs> you guys must be sitting at home watching this just going, like, I don't even know what you'd be thinking. You'd be frustrated for sure. Like, this is frustrating as shit for me. Imagine, I couldn't imagine sitting at home watching some kook lose the fish after fish, but um, I don't want these big fish, man. They're just like, there's no small fish here. It's just an island of monsters. So, uh, I don't have any fishing lures left. I've only got diving little, like, little minnows, and um, yeah, the minnows aren't gonna be good here. They're just gonna dive straight into the reef, so. Ah, what a time to be alive, eh? I'm gonna start heading back. I've got a massive walk back to where I started because curious old me wanted to walk all the way to the other side of the bloody island. So now I've got like an hour and a half walk to get back. So I guess I'll love yous and I'll leave yous here because, well, I'm gonna get stuck in the tide if I don't start moving. So thanks for watching. Thank you for joining my adventure doggies and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'm a kook! Love you all. No way, man. Your dinner. Look at this eel. Get out. Get out. <laughs> oh, he's not happy. Yeah, neither would I. Sorry, mate. <laughs>